Kevin here, Texas Vetted Lawn Service. So we're at a property right now, and there's a lot of overgrown here. See all these edges right here? Oh my God, those are stickers. Those are going to be horrible. They're going to get up and get you, stamp you in the face. You know, in fact, this is the first time I've seen stickers in two years of doing lawn service. First time ever. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we got all, this is pretty bad. So we have to go ahead and mow all of this front here. And uh, looks like she's got some tree trimming and some bush trimming over there. So we have definitely some added services, which would be great. Uh, a lot of pine needles here. Um, the weather is really dry, so there's a lot of crunch when you're when you're walking in the yard. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, I think the gate's down this side. Uh, I got a call from her. Um, I think she just moved in or something like that. So, uh, wow. So we're going to see what we can do here. Now, she's already prepaid $80 on her own. I didn't even ask for that. She said, here's $80. If it's more, let me know. Uh, okay. She's Luis. I think I may come back another day to do all this. Actually, you know what? No. Uh, mower will fit through that just fine. And so on properties like this, what you want to do is you want to mow it first, okay? You want to get the mower out and then just mow everything down. And that way you have a clear path to walk. And then you do your trimming and you do it in the direction uh, of right to left. That way it kicks the grass out away from the house. You can come back with the mower again and you mow over that so it's all nice and clean. So. This is some pretty tall, nasty stuff. Um, I mean, that stuff is tall. Some of that is three feet tall. It's not, ooh, hole, big hole. Not too, ugh. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts. And this stuff is, is uh, ah, it's a beast. Ugh. Man. Okay, yeah, this is, this is definitely gonna be more than $80. Uh, on a property like this all that we have now we have to go get the edger I normally don't have the edger on the truck because I really don't need it but I will need it on this stuff here you don't want to use the trimmer on this because what will happen is these long lines here these uh, runners look at that all the way across those runners the trimmer line will come psh, grab that uh, runner and throw it right back at you in your face. I don't know how many times I've been hit in the face and uh, have just been started bleeding because I got smacked in the face over some grass. Okay, so this is gonna be more than $80, no doubt. So what we're gonna do is we have two other properties to do. Uh, we have eight total on the schedule today. I've done uh, all of them already, seven of them. So we have this one and three more and that'd be uh, 10. Or, I'm sorry, no, wait, hold on. I have eight. Uh, okay, well, anyways, I only have this one and two more. I'm gonna go do two other ones because they're my regulars. Then I'll swing by the house because one of them is in my neighborhood and it's just uh, about a mile from here. Grab the stick edger, come back and do this because I'm telling you, on stuff like this, you wanna be safe. You don't want that stuff to be wacky up in your face. And it's gonna take a while for this. So now, good thing a lot of it is in the shade. I really like that. Um, now, oh, you see, right here, you know, you can go in between here and there, like with the mower. But here, because it drops off, you know, real steep, you don't want to do that because those blades could could hit that part right there. So that's not good. So on this tree here, it's got you know a few branches to trim up. Um, and then of course those bushes now she did tell me she does what the bush has done and whatever extra for that so uh, I, What I'm going to do is I'm going to quote her a prize for the mowing the bushes in the tree and Then I'll let her tell me no, let's not do the tree right now. Let's do it later or she might say you know what that's a great deal Let's just do all of that and You know because sometimes you know when someone's already gonna do a big project and you tell them hey do you want us to also do this and they're like no because i'm already doing this but if you include that in the price then they'll be like oh, okay and if they don't want something they're going to tell you hey now let's let's do it without that 
you know, we'll do that maybe next month or something. So that's something to think about, guys, when you're out there doing your, your bidding on the spot. Um, I don't even know what I would rate that tree at on an estimate because um, it's two trees. It's a pine tree here, and then I don't know what the heck that is, something else. And But you got stuff all hanging down all which way, so that would be kind of interesting. In my opinion, I would just do away with the... Uh, I would do away with that tree right there. It's the smallest one. And I could come up here, cut some of these big branches down. This guy would automatically fall here, which would be safe. Quarter up and haul it out. In fact, I need some wood for all my chainsaw videos I'm going to be doing for some speed cutting. So um, I'm going to look into that. But I want to wait until I get ready to do that video. That way I can cut this tree so it's fresh and ready to go. I don't want to do, I don't want to use a pine tree in my speed cutting videos because pine has a lot of sap in it and it's going to gum up the bar and the chain on the chainsaws and it's not going to be very good. It's going to make a mess. So alright, we're going to go ahead and do the other two and then we're going to come back. We're going to do this one and uh, I might even grab the GoPro for you guys. So it'll be uh, coming up soon. So I'll put part two to this part one of overgrown property.